both quarterbacks uh, had 41 dropbacks. You see, uh, but Levis was, had 38 attempts, 23 comp- completions for a low 60% completion percentage, 327 yards, 8.6, which is very vertical, ATD, and a pick. Up and down, but some big plays. Now, his blockers per pass was very high at 6.1. He was blitzed only six times. Uh, the play actions he had was nine. The screens he had nine. So they try to mitigate this pass rush by using screens, by using play actions, and by keeping lots of guys in. Now, uh, TWP, just below to SCR with a seven, that's turnover-worthy plays. He had one. Okay, then he had um, big time throws three. So there were big three big time throws. You can see he was blitzed six times. He had two scrambles because of the pressure. He had one sack um, uh, hit as thrown twice, 19 defensive pressures and two throwaways. There was a lot of mitigated passes because the protection was poor. The pressure was getting there. It was just always a little bit short at times, but it affected him. You can see that, but he did make those big throws through it. Now his clean throw time was 2.28, which was very fast, but it's only 53%. That's very low. He was, uh, he's blitzed, uh, time to throw was 2.83. So he was blitzed and that protection held up because they had kept lots of blockers in. Now his season time to throw first the blitz is 2.61. So they did a better job this week than usual. His season time to throw is uh, clean time to throw is 2.39. So they got it out fast and had a better time to throw this time, a little bit less at 53% compared to 56%. But the speed of throw, the extra blockers and holding up under the blitz definitely supported him. And he had a very good game in the big throw settings. There were some failings and consistency, and obviously there were some turnovers, but it was an easy day for him because he didn't have a great offensive line. Now, Tua, he had the 41 dropbacks, 33 attempts, 23 completions, almost 70%, 69.7 completion percentage, almost 10% more, uh, 240 yards, 7.3, which is a little bit low and lower than he usually gets because obviously the pressure was there. Now, blockers per pass is 5.87, which is a little bit less than what we usually do. And maybe we should have done like what they did with Levis, keep guys in. But we wanted to get the ball out. We wanted to keep more guys out there. And I think part of the reason was because Hill wasn't in through the game. And Hill, being in routes, is like two receivers. So to get some of that leverage that we didn't have, we had to put more guys in routes, less guys in blocking, and that upped the pressure. He was only blitzed twice. Uh, We ran uh, eight play actions and five screens to mitigate the pressure. Turnover-worthy plays, one more than Levis, two. Uh, He had uh, big-time throws, only one, so two less than Levis. He had two scrambles because of pressure, five sacks, 19 pressures, and no throwaways. So the pressure was on both these quarterbacks. Levis uh, made the bigger throws, two of them, but a few more mistakes. And two was more consistent, uh, but didn't have the big time throws. But there is a little bit underneath that protection. Remember, Levis was supported more by more blockers per passes, more screens, and more play actions. And if you look at the blockers they kept in, it was it was pretty high. It was like 24 extra blockers. Uh, and that's a, that's a lot. But now you look at the clean throw time. Two has been, uh, it, well, it was 2.22 seconds. So fast, but it was a low 53%. Now, if you look at the bottom, you'll see his season time to throw is usually 2.12 at 76%. It was 23 less percent clean time to throw than normal and 10 seconds more. And that led to all this pressure. But look at, in the game, his blitz time to throw was 1.53. The two blitzes came in lightning fast, crazy fast, uh, over a second uh, uh, faster than Felivis. Now, his season time to throw when he's blitzed, is only 2.10. Look at the season time to throw for Levis at 2.61. 
Protection has to be critical here. This is, I mean, he went a point one tenth of a second and this pressure came in at a dramatic pace. We couldn't handle the blitzes, but even you'll take that away, the time to throw on a season is terrible at 2.10. If he doesn't get the ball out ultra fast and add depth, we struggle. That's why Waddle and Hill together alter the course of this offense. It's not just Hill. It's not just Waddle. Al from Three Yard Carries brought, uh, brought up a very interesting point about when are they together? How often they get in? It's a really great study, and I thought it was a very interesting thing. I got to dig into it. Uh, but clearly, when these two guys are together, the leverage is offset. The ability to throw the ball faster is much better and at depth. 